Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to the episode of Chemical Guys Detail Garage. Today we have a barn find. We have a 1971 Porsche 911 Touring. As you guys can see, it just rolled into the shop. The condition of it on the inside is very well, but the outside needs a lot of love from detailing. But keep this in mind, this is a 30 plus year old car and it has been sitting in a barn. And what ends up happening, it just collects dust. Obviously before it was driven, it only has 12,000 miles. So 12,000 miles for a 30 plus year old car it's a wonderful find for anybody that wants to buy it. But now, in this video today, we're gonna to be doing a full series on a full restoration on how to bring back this beauty to its glory. To start off with, we're just gonna go ahead and cover up the wheels. The wheels have been tarnished, but the wheels can be replaced. They could be slapped back on. So that's gonna be our least focus on it. But today in this video, we're actually gonna be focusing on the body because what ends up happening with the body, if you actually let too much dirt, grime, debris actually sit on the surface, it can cause rust. So if you guys just come close, we're gonna do a quick walk around on the car just so you can see what we're working with. So just by opening up the gas tank, you guys can see there's a bunch of dirt, grime, debris that has been sitting in here for years to come. I mean, if no one takes care of it, obviously it's just gonna sit in the barn, but luckily we found this 1971 Porsche and we brought it here to Camel Guys because we do have a project 911T coming your guys' way. So if I actually do open up the, the front, it's not beautiful, but we're gonna get it back to its glory, right? Do not judge us. So you guys can see it has dirt, ground debris all over the seals. The front needs tons of love, so we'll be focusing on that. But in today's video, we're gonna be focusing on the seals, removing all this dirt, ground debris from everywhere with our all in detailed brushes and a thorough wash. And if we constantly keep going around the car, you guys can see. It does have scratches and swirls, wear and tear. The seals do have dirt and ground debris. This is why we're gonna be taking the extra care for it today, making sure we had everything so that whenever it goes back inside the shop and we start off by cleaning it, it starts removing all the oxidation. It is tons of scratches and swirls. But one thing about the trunk is it actually has its engine, right? So let me just pop it for you guys just so you guys can see it. It's kind of difficult. There it is. So if I actually just pop this up, you guys can see it's a fully rebuilt engine. So the engine is wonderful, but there's just dirt and ground debris that just needs to be removed. So we bring back the glory on this 911 Touring. So this 911 Touring, obviously it is not the high end model. It is just the base model. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna bring it back to its glory, get the chemical guy shine we always look for. And nonetheless, let's get started. Before we get started, let me just mention to you guys, be sure to like, comment, subscribe on our YouTube videos because every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday, we have brand new content for you guys coming your way, especially on this 911 Touring. We're gonna do a full restoration. And be sure to follow us on our social media as well so you can get quick updates. Follow us at Camel Guys on Instagram, at Facebook. We'll be posting more updates there. But anyways, guys, let me just wipe down the wheels, clean up the wheels thoroughly with some Diablo wheel gel, some tire and rubber cleaner, light metal polish, and then we'll get into the body. All right guys, so we just finished cleaning up the wheels and tires and the wheels and tires did make a big difference on just the look of this car. 
To start off with, we went ahead and used Diablo wheel gel to clean up the face of the wheel, the barrel, lug nuts, and much more. To clean the tires, of course, to remove the browning effect, the tire blooming, we went ahead and used our brand new product, which is Total Extract Tire Rubber Cleaner. But now it is time to get into the juicy part of this detail, which is going to be cleaning up the body of this car. So this car has been parked for 30 years plus, and it only has 12,000 miles, so it's fairly, fairly new. The engine has been rebuilt uh, because it did have some minor imperfections in it. But we also laid down a towel over the little vent. I just don't want to get any, any type of water inside the engine. I want to avoid that, so I'm just laying down a woolly mammoth just to absorb any water that might land onto it. And then obviously, I do have my arsenal down below, which is going to consist of our two bucket method, our dirt trap. Uh, one thing I do want to point out is going to be the brush I'll be using today to clean up the emblems, which is going to be the Boris Hair Detailing Brush, as well as I have an assortment of products up front, which is going to be Honeydew Snow Foam, Clean Slate, nonsense now why did i went with this lineup of products the reason why i went with this lineup of products is one i want a high sudden soap so that's why i want honeydew snow foam two i want a soap that's going to remove every single glaze sealant or wax this car might have i doubt it has anything because it has been sitting for up to th for over 30 years so i'll be mixing these two about like one ounce of honeydew snow foam one ounce of clean slate that mixture is going to allow me to foam up the car let the soap sit on the car. It's going to give me enough time to run around the whole entire car. If it doesn't give me enough time, I'll just get my foam cannon, which is going to be a big mount mastery foam cannon, foam up the area again, and I'll start scraping out every single emblem. And then I also have Nonsense Super Cleaner. I brought out Nonsense Super Cleaner today just so I could get into the intricate details where unfortunately I can't get water into. So like for example, the front, it has carpet inside, it has that battery sitting right there. So I don't want to get water in there. So what I'm just going to do, I'm just gonna get my Nonsense Super Cleaner with the same exact brush, once I'm done using it on the outside, I'm just going to rinse it right off, clean the bristles up, get my nonsense super cleaner and get all these intricate areas where I can't get water. Simply spray nonsense, scrub it out, but throughout the procedure, I'll be showing you guys exactly how I do it. But now let's get right into what type of wash mount I'll be using. So here at Camel Guys, we offer many different types of wash mounts from super soft wash mounts to heavy duty clean wash mounts. And today I'm going with the pile driver. The pile driver is going to allow me to get tough on grime, but very gentle on the paint. So it's microfiber strands. It has micro nub technology on it. It has elastic band. You can put it on, it won't slide right off. It's a very decent size. This car's not so big, so that's why I didn't go with the big noodle washman. But now, let's get right into setting up our two bucket method. So for anybody that's new here to Chemical Guys, first of all, welcome to the best Chemical Guys family. This is the ultimate detailing brand, of course. But now I'll get my Big Mouth Max Reese foam cannon. I'll remove the head off the top. And with a Big Mouth Max Reese foam cannon, for anybody that's not familiar, is this is going to work with a pressure washer. So today I am using the PM2000 electric pressure washer. You guys can check the link down below if you guys want to pick one up today. And then it also has a clear canister. I already went ahead and pre-filled it with water. And now I just get my honeydew snow foam. I'm actually going to dump out a little bit of water. About right there. It actually has metering system in the back, so that's why I am very good at dilution. And then I'll open up my honeydew snow foam. I'll add about one ounce of honeydew snow foam. I'll put this off to the side. Now I'll get my clean slate. And then I will also add an ounce of clean slate. And then I will reattach the big mouth Max Reese foam cannon head back to the top. And now one pro tip for you guys out there on the market or anybody that's detailing or anybody that's new to detailing, whenever you're dealing with a foam cannon, foam blaster, anything that contains soap and water inside, what you don't want to do is grab the bottle and start shaking it. If you start shaking it, you cause foam inside here. We want no foam inside the bottle. We want all foam on top of the car. So now I'll stir it and not shake it. Get the proper water mixture. Get the soap mixed in with water properly. Now I'll put this off to the side and then I'll put my brush off to the side as well. And then today I'll be using our dirt traps. What is a dirt trap? A dirt trap is not in the name. It's going to trap dirt. So what you want to do is just simply sink them to the bottom of your bucket. And now today I have actually two different color buckets. I have my blue one and I have a red one. The blue one's going to be my rinse bucket. My red one's going to be my wash bucket. So what I'll be doing is be getting my honeydew snow foam, your choice of soap, add one ounce inside here. Same thing as clean slate. The reason why I want to add some type of soap inside my wash bucket is just so every single time I get my pile driver and I come back and sink it inside my water, obviously I'll come back, I'll remove all dirt and grime debris from the rinse water. Once I do that, I'll come back and get my soapy water. And how do you activate your suds? Just simply get pressure from your 
ProFlow PM2000 or any garden hose has some type of pressure, it's going to foam right up. So all of these million suds bubbles that are inside our soap is going to help you glide your wash mail across the surface of your vehicle without scratching nor harming it. So I'll sink that in there. I'll get my boar's hair detent brush. I'll also sink it in there, let it dwell. And then now what we're gonna start off by doing is just to knock off any loose carbon debris just with a simple rinse, no soap required. Just get my water hose or my PM2000. I'm going to rinse from top to bottom. Once I'm done, I'll unattach my pressure washer tip by pulling back on this sleeve. I'll attach my big mouth max reef foam cannon and then I'll suds it up. And once it already suds up, I'll get back to you guys so I can show you guys how fast and easy it is and fun it is to clean up all the seals around your car. Because if seals crack, you might get a leak. So let's prevent that by cleaning up today with Honeydew Snow Foam and Clean Slate. Anyways guys, I'll be right back. All right guys, so I actually had to refoam up the car because the foam on the car was actually drying up, but that's not, nothing bad. Just simply get your foam cannon, reattach it onto your ProFlow PM2000 and refoam the surface of the car. So I'll put my big mouth mouthpiece foam cannon off to the side. I'll get my pressure washer tip and I'll reactivate the suds. So we already went ahead and got every single seal around the whole entire car. The nooks and crannies, now we're gonna be getting the pile driver and start scrubbing the actual car. So I'll reactivate the suds. I'll reactivate the suds. I'll put my wand off to the side. I'll get my wash mitt. And now I'll go to the highest point of the vehicle. And I'm going to work in linear motions to remove any dirt, grime, filth that has embedded itself into the paint of this car. Now, keep this in mind. This is just going to be a simple wash, but this simple wash is the most crucial step of a detail. You can't start polishing a car nor clean a car without actually removing the filth and grime. Now, I could have gone to water this way, but in this occasion, it's a beautiful sunny California. Why not bring out the big mouth Max Reef Home Can RPM 2000 and subs of this vehicle? So, I'll work in inner motions, lift up the windshield wipers, keep working my way down, and after the third pass, I'll go to my rinse bucket, sink it in the rinse bucket, sink it all at the bottom, bring out my wash mitt, inspect it, get more suds, and continue with the wash. Now, one key thing about when you're washing your car, you never want to go in circular motions, because if you do go in circular motions, what ends up happening is you could scratch, swirl, or damage your paint, because if you do have tough mud, tough grime on your wash mitt, and you constantly go in circular motions, you're gonna cause more scratches, more swirls, and a bigger headache for yourself. So. Let me just keep washing this car and Honeydew Snow Foam and Clean Slate is doing an amazing job at helping me suds up the surface of this vehicle. Nonetheless, remove all the dirt, filth, and grime. And here's where you guys can see that this car has aged. I mean, there's some type of yellow effect going on here compared to up here. It's white up here, yellow right here. It's been sitting in a barn. Who knows when it was the last time it was driven. The beauty about this car is it's now actually going to be driven but we're going to restore it all here at Chemical Guys headquarters. So anyways guys, let me finish washing this whole entire car and I'll show you guys how fast and easy it also is to dry a car that has no protection on it. I mean, zero protection. There's water drag on this car. So let me just finish washing it, then I'll get back to you guys to the drying part. Protection! No protection! Oh my god. All right guys, so we just finished rinsing down the surface of the car and the 
car looks has a night and day difference but now how do i actually dry a car that has no type of protection on it and that is going to be using lucent spray shine and my favorite towel which is the woolly mammoth the blue one so what you want to do is obviously we have water drag on it and if i was just to put the microfiber towel on the surface of the car it's just simply going to drag but in another hand i'm going to get my lucent spray shine i'll spray onto the car and as you guys can see it causes this water tension to disperse you don't want water tension on your car and this is why we always tell you guys either ceramic coat your car wax your car or seal your car so you can make drying easier but now in this occasion drying can get a little bit difficult just because one it has water dragging to it but even though you get water dragging that does not affect us detailing just simply spray loosen spray shine and wipe the surface dry now it's just time for me to finish up the rest of this car, drying it up with loose and spray shine. And then once we're done with that, we also need to get the intricate areas where I didn't want to get it wet, such as under the hood and in the engine bay. I'll be right back with you guys to get into the intricate areas with Nazan Super Cleaner and our board chair detailing brush. All right guys, so now we're gonna get into the intricate areas where we didn't want to get water in. And obviously I did have to call a human stand because the hood of this frunk does not work. So I went ahead and got Alex from inside the office and now it's time to clean up this dirty part. So this is where Nonsense Super Cleaner comes into play. I'll spray it onto this dirt grime filth, spray some onto my boar's hair detailing brush as well. And now I'll go to the area and just start scrubbing it out. And by doing this, I am ensuring that one, that there's no more dirt, grime, debris on the paintwork and it's getting a full cleanse around the whole entire paintwork. All right guys, so there you guys have it. We went ahead and fully washed this Porsche 911T. It is 1971 and I mean it has a night and day difference. But this is just a baby step until we take a full step on claying and polishing this right. But remember, washing your car is the most crucial step whenever it comes to detailing. Remove all the dirt, grind debris away from the wheels, away from the paint, away from the glass like this. Whenever you get into polishing, you won't have dirt, grind debris getting in your way. So guys, if you guys like this video today, don't forget to give us a huge thumbs up. Make sure to like, comment, subscribe because we have a full restoration process on this 911T. As always, if you guys want to pick up any of these products that I used today's video, hop on to website right now, chemicals.com or stop by a local detail garage. We have over 90 detail garage locations across the globe, including Canada and the UK. As always, I'm Henry and thank you for sharing your passion for shine with Chemical And don't forget, the full Chemical team is going to get their hands on this 911T. Haha. -ha.